We start this afternoon with portfolio questions on rural economy and connectivity. Question number one from Christina McKelvey. Thank you very much, President Officer. To ask the Scottish Government whether it will provide an update on the rollout of broadband in the Hamilton, Lark, Hall and Stonehouse constituency. Cabinet Secretary Fergus Ewing. The £400 million investment from the Scottish Government and our partners are making through the Digital Scotland Superfast Broadband programme will extend fibre broadband access to at least 95% of premises uh, by the end of 2017. Without that investment, only 66% of premises would have been reached. To date, the programme has provided fibre broadband access to 4,215 premises in the Hamilton, Lark Hall and Stonehouse constituency, 95% of which are capable of accessing superfast speeds. Christina McKelvey. Uh, can, I, can I welcome that? And I'm sure the 4,215 premises in, in my constituency will welcome that too. However, constituents from the village of Stonehouse in my constituency have had a very difficult time with getting access to broadband. And when they do, they've experienced loss of service, a slow service, which has been disruptive not only to domestic use of broadband services, but to the many businesses in that area who depend on an un uninterrupted high-speed service in order to do their business. Can the Cabinet Secretary look into the particular problems faced by my constituents in Stonehouse and reassure them that everything possible is being done to provide them with that quality service from that £400 million investment. Cabinet Secretary. Uh, yes, I'm happy to provide Ms McKelvey with that assurance uh, and, and I'm happy to receive more details from her if she so wishes. Um, she will appreciate, of course, as we all do, that telecoms and telephony is a reserved responsibility for the UK Government. But despite that, we are committed to providing 100% superfast broadband access by 2021 uh, and uh, I'm obviously aware that uh, the BT are handling many of these cases. I'm very happy to take up any particular case uh, with Ms McKelvey who is uh, obviously working hard for her constituents on this serious matter. Question number two, Douglas Ross.